Hi guys and welcome back to another 3D game development tutorial. So at first I want to say that I'm sorry that there wasn't so long break between this and the last tutorial because I had a lot of things to do in school and, uh, and at work but I hope you use the time for creating your own BSP maps and this stuff. For creating my own BSP maps I'm using um, net radiant right now so if you really want to use BSP you could use this application so in this tutorial I want to show you how you can make a thing called event receiver and our first question should be what's an event receiver so an event, re an event receiver is something like a manager for events this means that that um, with it you can handle all of the necessary events in your in your um, device in your handle. So these are, for example, um, the um, events of the interface. For example, if you press a button or if you enter a text box and all this stuff. Oh and yes and of course this are the event the key events too this means if you press for example the um, use key or the w key or whatever <coughs> so then let's start with our event receiver and the first thing we need is a function not a procedure a function and let's call it um, e events so and then we need some parameter at first the cons the event this is an p e v event one moment i need here yeah so this is an p s e event not photoshop event or something like this and then we need the user data to this is a pointer so and this function got a boolean result and then um, I will um, explain it later and then we need to register so okay now we start with our with our event at first we need to decide whether the event is something like an um, key event or um, interface event or all this and we could do it like this events dot or event dot event type dot and here we see all of the events but I know you are all lazy and so I will start with an with so I will start with with events this do and then we say case the event type of the event of and here we see all of the all of the events so the first one is a very important one the um, GUI event this means the inter interface events uh, for example buttons or text boxes this on change or on enter on click yes and then we got our mouse events this is if you press the mouse keys or if you mo move around with your mouse and then we got the um, the key input event this is an another very important one for example this will be caused if you press the W key the R key all the stuff or the escape key and I want to show you how you can exit your application with the escape key and so I will need the EET key input event moreover we got um, the joystick input event the log text event and the user event this one are not so important these are the importance but uh, I think 
this is an important. So, uh, but I don't need this one. I will show you how to use the interface in Ehrlich 2, but not in this tutorial. So, okay, now if this is this kind of event, I want to um, case now key input dot key, and now we will see. Now we will see all of the um, buttons supported in Ehrlich. Um, these are quite a lot. Really nice. But I don't need all of this. I will delete it. So um, I want that the key, if it's the key, key. And now we can enter the number, the W, E, and so on. Or we could write key and escape or return, return is the enter key. So if it's the escape key I want that my def dot close device. Yes. And yes, yes, okay. And I told you about the the result and at, at the beginning I want that my result is false. This means okay I will um, enter another ex example the key key W. This is my movement key. And I don't know maybe that that said window caption W key uh, oops key key so and now I set at the beginning the result to false. This means that um, that um, okay. Let's say I would um, set it to true. So if I set the result to true, this means that after using or after working with the key event it will be wasted. So under controller like for example the our first person controller wouldn't be able to use it anymore. So this means that when I start my application and I want to move around or do uh, yes I will show it later. Um this means yes Let's test it. But before we start our application like I did, we need to create an event receiver. And we could do something like e event re is in T event receiver or we could use the existing one. This is called Vect V. Vect V T is T event receiver dot create and now we enter we need to enter our function and this is events so and now we need to assign our event receiver to our application or to our device and in the device create function we see the last parameter is receiver and this is our event receiver and we only need to enter it so and now you see I'm not able to do something anymore because all events all of this stuff will be wasted but if I set it to true uh, to false you will see that I'm able to move around and now if I press uh, I will start it again the first moment when I press the W key, you see that my window caption will change. And I'm able to exit the application with the escape key. But if I do something like this with the begin and end, you can enter more, more and more, um, more and more comments, uh, comments, not 
more and more lines of code. And if I and we'll do something like this, result to true, then you will see that I'm able to go over, that I'm able to move, but I'm not able to move forward because the engine don't know that this key is pressed or my controller don't know because after using it it will be wasted one moment please so okay and this was yes i think this should be enough for the first event receiver we will um, add more functions for the interface for example or for the mouse in the next tutorial we, we will add another another um, input event and this will be the mouse input event and yes because in the next tutorial I will show you how you can use the um, collision detection and how you can use vehicles that means how you can shoot and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and subscribe me or um, I don't know <laughs> yes or leave a comment and really really try to use NetRadiant and make your own BSP maps I think in the next tutorial I will use my own one and I hope you enjoyed and I hope I will see you in the next tutorial bye